first question is from Cassandra. She asks, hello from Arizona. Awesome, local girl. I wanted to ask how you and Alex do dinner together. Do you find that both of you cook different meals for dinner so that your food fits each of your macros? When Alex wants to eat greasy man food, what do you eat? Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> My husband can eat, like you mentioned before, nearly anything and not have it mess with his gains. Me, on the other hand, that would kill my progress. What do you suggest for us so I don't feel so restricted during family dinners with my husband? P.S. Keep up the strong work. For the most part, Alex and I eat the same thing. He just eats a lot more of it. That's really the solution, Cassandra. I guess he just doesn't do like the greasy man food. I mean, he's got a killer physique. He works really hard to maintain that. He's worked really hard to build that. He trains like a maniac. And if he was eating a bunch of greasy man food, I don't think he'd be where he's at physique wise. So, uh, if your hubby wants to eat a bunch of greasy man food, then yes, in that situation, I would definitely say that he needs to make his greasy man dinner and you need to make your wonderful dinner, um, which can still be delicious as long as it fits your macros. Um, so yeah, and I mean, of course, I have, I have a greasy man meal every once in a while. I can even sort of make it fit my macros if I really need to, if I really need like just a big giant pizza or something. But you know, I don't ever really get there because I eat what I wanna eat and I'm really happy and fed and satisfied because I'm not starving myself, I'm not under fueling and over training, I'm not eating off of a chicken and asparagus meal plan. So Alex and I really eat the same thing, he just eats a shit ton more of it than I do. So you know, we'll cook a bunch of sweet potato and a bunch of steaks and you know, grill up some asparagus or something and my plate has four ounces of chicken and you know, 10 asparagus spears just got kind of gangster with the asparagus <laughs> and um, and you know like a, a cup of mashed sweet potato and I'm just eating it on my little plate all nice and petite and Alex walks by like three times with a bowl of it so he's got like a giant veggie sweet potato steak bowl and he walks by and eats it and then he puts it in the sink and then he sits down and hangs out with me for a little while. I'm long done with my dinner and I'm watching, you know, The Voice or something and he comes back by with another bowl of the exact same thing. So <laughs> he just eats a lot more of it. I would love to see you guys try that. So it fits my macros, it fits his macros. His macros are just way bigger than mine. So it works for him and it works for me too. So try that. You're not gonna really be able to combat it if he's eating a bunch of crap all the time. You're not gonna be living the fit life if you are eating small amounts of crap every day. You know, <laughs> no, beautiful physique was ever built that way. Samantha eats the same thing as us and she's 11 and a half months old. Take that into consideration. I mean, my 11 month old, my giant Hulk husband and me, we all eat the exact same dinner. And that's pretty phenomenal. I don't count Samantha's macros or anything yet, but she eats, you know, chopped up asparagus and little pieces of meat and uh, and a bunch of sweet potato. And that's my dinner and that's Alex's dinner. We all just eat very different amounts of it. <laughs> so try that and just kind of wrap your head around that and think about it and, and it should make sense to you.